To get started coding Python and pandas using NFL data is pretty simple. We can just go into Colab here, click this new notebook button. And once you're in here, click this drop down, go to change runtime type and get a, CP, get a GPU. This is going to save you a lot of time. Next, we need to install this open source library. I'll show you in a second. Let's see here, NFL data pi. This is an open source library that aggregates NFL data from a lot of other sites. Very rich set of data. I'll let this install. All right, you can ignore those outputs, those warnings there. To take advantage of the GPU, we need to run this command load ext kudf.pandas. This is going to make your pandas accelerated with that GPU. Now we need to take advantage of the library we just installed. We'll do import NFL data pi as NFL, import pandas as pd. And now to get some data, we'll do DF, which stands for data frame, NFL, import, and we'll do play by play data. You see you have a lot of options here. We'll go with NFL and we'll just do 2024. This is going to download all of that aggregated play by play data. If we want to look at it, we can just do sample three. This will get us three random rows. Way too many rows to go over, but just a sample query. If you want to, you know, look at play types, right? It's all about play types in football. And then we'll do value counts. This will give us the raw number, which is not terribly meaningful pass 20,000, that sort of thing. But we want to look at the percentages. So we'll do normalize equals true. Uh, if I can spell. All right. And we can see 40% for almost 42% pass plays, 31% run plays. And of course we need to visualize it. We'll do plot bar. And there you have it in less than three minutes, getting started with pandas and Python with NFL data.